Also developing, a Polk County deputy saved by his bulletproof vest after being shot in the line of duty. This afternoon, he's recovering in the hospital. The shooting happened just after 10 o'clock last night outside a home in Davenport. News 6's Mark Lehman is at the scene and spoke with a neighbor who said they saw the whole thing unfold. Investigators spending more than 10 hours in this neighborhood as they gathered evidence in the shooting. It happened right here in front of this home along the street and sidewalk. We spoke with the next door neighbor who watched as the situation unfolded. I had like three shots and uh, for a moment I so when when I heard the shots I came running to my window. Pablo Lugo says after hearing gunfire around 10 last night, he saw his neighbor detained by Polk County deputies on the ground at the Tanglewood Preserve subdivision. He was screaming, please let me leave, please let me leave. That man identified as 41-year-old Gabriel Batista. The sheriff's office says deputies responded to a family disturbance when Batista returned to his home and approached with his hands behind his back. Investigators say Batista refused to show his hands, instead pulling out a gun and shot a deputy in the chest. Fortunately, he was wearing a bulletproof vest. And the female officer uh, started looking him all over, checking his body. The sheriff's office says the deputy shot back at Batista, who threw his gun to the ground and surrendered. He was not injured and arrested. All of this coming just over a week after Polk County Deputy 21-year-old Blaine Lane was shot and killed in the line of duty. The sheriff saying in this case last night, the deputy's bulletproof vest saved his life. Polk County Sheriff says the deputy is doing well after being checked out at the hospital. As for the suspect in this, he's now facing several charges. We'll keep you updated with any new information as we get it. In Davenport, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.